so this is your first exercise for kundalini right so what i want you to do <laughs> i see my cheek what i want you to do is just like breathe into your body right into your heart stomach and belly you breathe into it breathe into your body into your body into your pelvic for me for, of course i have been doing this constantly for a long time so for me it's normal but it can take for like 15 minutes or 20 minutes that you finally feel that you're breathing into your body and when you start to breathe into the body you can start to feel that maybe you feel like wow this is feeling great i feel like this energy moving inside of me because you're doing it next to me you will start to get that feeling because the energy is coming to you it's moving your way so you start to have that feelings so for me it's very normal just like to have this kundalini going in my body i don't need to do anything for it just a little movement and then it starts to connect and it wants to go upwards and because of the breathing and the movement of the hands because i feel my own aura i can feel my own body and my aura and it feels really good so i can feel the energy moving through my chakras this arisal of energy this golden energy i see in front of my eyes and the golden energy just wants to penetrate my body because i'm just now i already had an uh, intense session with uh, connecting with the light particles outside of me and i want that light particles be more and more in my body so they the body can keep on healing itself Whew. and sexual energy and the light particles from the sun they combine this amazing energy that wants to penetrate your body going upwards to the third eye and spread it all out so you just like move move inside of that kundalini that kundalini sits in the backbone in the back and wants to move upwards you can breathe to it Breathe it upwards. Together with the prana and the kundalini, you want to connect to the sun, to the sun, and move it upwards in the body and let it explode for me it's not like an exploding anymore because it's already everywhere so it could happen if i meet another person who has more energy than me then you will get that uh, heightened energy and explosion but because i'm already on a very high level of energy i just feel uh, mostly very connected to all the energy as already and it's already spreading through all of my cells so there's not a need for a constant explosion a constant enlightenment anymore it's just constantly orgasmic my body is constantly having an orgasm but it's just like constantly there it's not even noticeable it's just a pleasurable feeling that's every day in my body the only thing that will happen to me now is that my head will not really work together with the body still and that's what we're still struggling everywhere that our head is still not wanting to connect fully with the heart but we want to have this heart synchronization with the mind so it comes together and knows exactly the pure wisdom that is for here in this earth
see it. So I feel this rising of this energy in my heart chakra. I see the colors of the emerald green. I see the colors of the gold in the belly. I see the red in my root chakra. I see that my feet are going inside of the earth. They feel like roots going inside. They have flowers. It feels really like a fantasy, but it isn't because we are nature. We are the divine we are this intense beautiful creation oh. that needs to express everything every aspect And if you feel like this energy wants to keep on moving, can go for hours. Just let it move through your body so it can do what it needs to regenerate the body. There's nothing demonic. <laughs> There's nothing. There's just only beautiful and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy that wants to move through the body and rejuvenate your body. Nothing else. And the rest up here is the spirit that wants to come through tell you the wisdom for your life so you shouldn't be in fear but most of the time in love and the rest is all psychic and we pretend that that we're not in union so keep breathing in the belly look the cat is here he likes to go up feeling the energy also And then you close your session and you go on with the day. Okay, guys, I'm going to close the session. Thanking the spirits, thanking the Kundalini and keeping the Kundalini on constantly so it can provide light everywhere and everything up below will be released and we stay in this beautiful love energy.